Hey guys, I'm Sonika. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can turn your waterfall images from this to this. So let's get started. Please subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell icon to get notified whenever I'm on YouTube. Thank you. Hey guys, in today's photography tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can engage in slow shutter photography of waterfalls to get the beautiful feel of the milky water flowing like an enchanted princess. Um, <laughs> let's get started. What you will need? A camera, a tripod, a super sturdy one, an ND filter. Now I have a 10 stop ND filter from Nissi. I'll leave its link down below guys for you to check out. A rain cover or any kind of plastic to protect your camera from the rains. To protect your camera from the rains, you can buy a separate rain cover or you can use a shower cap or you can take a plastic and tape it all over your lens hood like I have done. Also carry an umbrella very important a remote optional and a super gorgeous waterfall so let's go find it so i'm on my way to marshish ghat to find so many waterfalls for our slow shutter photography tutorial yes First I'm going to take a walk and try out different compositions and then when I find a good one I'm going to set up my tripod there. I think I found a spot now I'm going to uh, set up my tripod and let the slow shutter magic start. First I set up my camera on my tripod. I'm gonna hang my bag at its hook for some extra support. Now I'm gonna shoot a normal image just to check my composition. Focus on the right part of the image and click. Now shutter speed 10 seconds and I'm gonna keep the least f number my lens can go to. So my lens can go to a least f number of f22. I'm gonna keep that least ISO in shutter speed 10 seconds. Oh that's a fully blown out image. I did it on purpose guys so that you guys can know that even with the least aperture and least ice, if I go into slow shutter without an end filter, I am likely to get a fully blown out image. So an anti filter is very helpful if you want to do slow shutter photography of waterfalls. I have attached the anti filter. Before attaching the anti filter, I have focused on my composition and clicked a normal image. So before attaching the ND filter, you need to make sure that your focus is locked. So after attaching the ND filter, I will switch to manual focus, the manual mode of my camera and my aperture will be f9, shutter speed 10 seconds or whatever you want to keep and ISO will be in the least 100. Press the shutter release button and... If I have a remote, it is been beneficial because it reduces the camera shape I may introduce while pressing the shutter release button. So if you have a remote, you can use it. If you don't have a remote, you can set your camera on self timer so that it clicks after an interval of 5 or 10 seconds. Pro tip, cover your viewfinder during the long exposure to avoid light from entering via your viewfinder. For that, you can use the eyepiece cap or simply cover the viewfinder with your hand. These are a few more images which I have clicked using this technique. So 
So guys, go out there, spend some time with nature and click those amazing waterfall images. Do tag me in your waterfall images on Instagram at Agarwal Sonika, that's my Instagram handle. I'll be very happy to have a look at your images, guys. And if you found this photography tutorial to be useful, give me a huge thumbs up. Leave a comment down below about what you want to watch next on my channel. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also, turn on the bell icon to be notified whenever I am on YouTube. Here is my previous tutorial. Please go check it out, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more such tutorials every Wednesday on my channel. Bye.